636, a murder hornet sounds like something out of a horror movie, mm -hmm. but turns out they are real and a related species was recently spotted here in Georgia. While you aren't at risk of dying from one, the invasive insect could put a sting on the state's multi-million or billion dollar, I should say, agriculture business. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony joining us live in studio with what you need to know this morning, TJ. That's right. Good morning. So the discovery of the murder hornets in America just a few years ago created definitely quite the buzz. Well, now a cousin of the giant wasp, the yellow-legged hornet, turned up just below Savannah recently. And they target bees, which we know play a big part in Georgia's agricultural business since they help pollinate crops. Well, now farmers and experts are working to make sure it does not spread. From growing watermelons and peaches all the way to beekeeping in order to create some fresh honey. Agriculture in central Georgia is a booming industry. Corey Leinberger is one of the four members of Honey Badger Apiaries, a company that makes their own honey in Twiggs County. The beekeeping for us was originally a retirement plan, so this is what we want to do once I'm not working a day job anymore. He's one of many beekeepers and farmers monitoring the yellow-legged hornet. All them bee hawks, they visit beekeepers' apiaries, and they, they swoop down and capture the bees right out of the sky, or they capture them on the entrances of their hives, and they're very relentless. Once Keith Delaplane, a professor of entomology at the University of Georgia, says the invasive yellow-legged hornet just got spotted in the United States this month. Once they have discovered an apiary, they tend to keep coming back to it again and again over days, and they can severely drain the bee colony of its workforce. Right now, the Department of Agriculture is working to find and wipe out any traces of the species. And the uh, Department of Agriculture inspectors have been marshaled in Savannah, and they're working to try to track these individuals and locate the nest and eradicate their nest. And the hornets are native to Asia and are in parts of Europe as well, and they build large egg-shaped nests, usually in trees. Now, Frederick, it is important to know this is not something you should be alarmed about, but as a farmer, just be aware of them. Yeah, for sure. And something also worth noting, TJ, if you see or kill one, try to collect it and notify it to your local county extension office, too. Now, we are already seeing a lot of bee loss over the past few decades without the invasive species causing even more damage.